should be able to flat foot shift. So let's do a second. Would you just look at that? Now you might be thinking this looks like an absolute piece of sh**. But then again, having riser bends sit next to something like this, this thing looks so freaking good. Far from perfect, but definitely a hell of a lot of fun. And the plan with this one is to do everything just a little bit better. So in the last couple of videos, we removed the entire interior of the new project car. And I also have been doing a bit more work. So let me show you on the inside. As you guys can see, I already spent some time getting the dashboard back in here. I removed all the airbags and all the extra weight that I could. Still has the glove box with a soft open. Just, yeah, I just wanted to get that back in there. And then I got the center console back. We'll still make a plate that covers all of this up at some stage. Got the steering wheel back in place. Still deciding on if I want to change the steering wheel or not. Um, yeah, this one doesn't look too good anymore. And then I also just threw in this old bucket seat I have just to see how it looks. Very happy with the whole look I'm getting from the car. And then I also removed the sunroof. Got that all cleaned up and working like it should. So we'll be wiring it up so that we can use that as well but for today's video i do want to get started on the suspension i already know of one or two of the bushings that are shot so i want to get that replaced go through all the suspension just to have it ready for when we can drive it but we don't have to worry about that so let's jack up the car get it on some trestles get the wheels off and go do that burnout so I've been using these little trestles and very sketchy stuff for the longest time. But I finally invested in some proper trestles, especially for the new project car. And I'm excited to use them. Look at this guy jumping the gun already. Huh. Yeah, more on that later on. <laughs> well, now let's get the car in the air.
and just like that it's the next day so yesterday after getting the new project car in the air getting the old tires off of it to do the burnout with the riser bends things kind of escalated it's a bit windy today again so hopefully this little microphone does a bit better but anyway this wasn't part of the plan but yesterday after getting this one in the air like i said we went to fetch the new engine for the new project car Ta -da! i really hope you guys don't hate me for this but i still can't show you what the engine is we still need to do some measuring some mocking up to see if we will in fact be able to use this engine in this car so definitely stay tuned make sure you are subscribed um, next week i will be showing this engine and we'll probably make it work into the car but yeah there's a lot of things to figure out for now i think let's get those tires on the back of the riser bends and then go do that burnout uh, we didn't quite hit the 100 like goal i think we are at like 71 likes now that's good enough for me we're going to be doing that burnout so for those of you who did end up liking the video i really do appreciate it um, i just thought i have these extra tires um, the one has a puncher and the one is almost bald. I mean, like I said, who doesn't enjoy a burnout? Hopefully we don't break anything, but if we do, we have a lot of spare parts now. And then if all goes well with this, we can continue working on the suspension, getting that all sorted out and looked over and just keep on going. This tire over here also has a massive bubble. I have no idea. Oh, it's not blown up yet but um the handbrake isn't on something i will say about the new engine is uh it's not a six cylinder <laughs> it's not a mercedes engine but that little engine has the potential to make the same power as we have in the riser bends and because the new project car is going to be much lighter than the riser bends things should be pretty interesting Now let's air them up to about a million PSI so that we don't break anything. So I think I'm going to try for 45 PSI or like th 3 bar. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't explode. These tires are a bit old. It's 45, 3 bar. Let's call it good there. 45. Like always. <laughs> obviously super nervous but let's go do this i uh, almost forgot to tell you guys so the reason the car left me stranded on the side of the road in the previous video is because i'm still using the wrong alternator positive wire to charge up the battery so i do need to replace that hopefully it holds up for now there we go and then another thing is I really don't want to break this car today because I got a comment the other day that reminded me that I still want to have a race with my mom again now that we have boost um, I should be able to redeem myself and beat her in a race with her W204 C220 um, the last time we tried she actually beat me so I did check over the oil coolant and everything we should be good to go so I'll meet you guys out there at the burnout spot all right so out on the open road my camera guy just showed up <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> camera guy with his Corolla <laughs> But let's see what the boost is doing, just to be sure. I do have it all the way turned down. Let's just make sure. All right, so we're about at about 0.6 bar, which should be fine. We don't need 
all the boost to do a burnout. thing I want to try out is because I have the launch control button below the clutch pedal it should be able to flat foot shift so let's do a second to third and I'm gonna keep my foot flat at all what a nice place to be moments later <laughs> sack how anticlimactic was that but got back home and immediately decided to get the diff out of this one because we're going to be welding this diff and we won't be having any of those one wheel peel issues but unfortunately i ran out of time for this week's video um so we'll be doing more of the suspension work in the next video like I said, I'll show you guys the engine in the next video. This week's video was a bit all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And then I'll see you in the next one.